What's new for 2024? The Huracan doesn't change much for 2024, but the EVO model is no longer available as a coupe. It is only available as a drop-top Spider. This is expected to be the last year that the Huracan is made, which is a shame. To mark the occasion, 10 special edition Huracan STJs will be made. The four-way adjusted dampers, racing tires on 20-inch wheels, and tweaked. Aerodynamics on the STJ cars are all meant to make the Huracan perform better on a racetrack. For 2025, a new plug-in hybrid model will take the place of the old race car. It is likely to have a completely different name. What they cost and which one to buy. Depending on the trim and extras, the 2024 Lamborghini Huracan costs anywhere from 249865 to 348773 the Huracan Technica, which has rear-wheel drive, would have to be our top pick for a supercar. As a sort of STO light, it's not as good at going all out on the track, but its calmer, more road-friendly attitude and lower price make up for it. Another difference between the Technica and the STO is that the Technica can only be ordered with rear-wheel drive. Engine, transmission, and how well it works. Behind the Huracan's cabin is a dry-sumped 5.2-liter V10 engine that makes a scary sound when it goes up to its 8,500 RPM redline. The engine now makes 631 horsepower in all models, except the tough Storado, which has a V10 engine that makes 602 horsepower. Every Huracan V10 comes with a 7-speed dual clutch. Automatic transmission that can make moves on its own or with the help of paddle shifters. The 2020 Evo sedan with all-wheel drive went from 0 to 60 mental pH in 2.5 seconds and went through the quarter mile in 10.4 seconds at 135 mental pH. We also got to take a test drive in the convertible Evo Spider, which easily proved that it was a high-performance car and made the experience a little more exciting. Huracan models come with rear-wheel steering as standard, which makes the car even more agile. Plus, it has a system called LDVI that can guess what the driver will do next and change based on that. The new Technica's communicative chassis and good ride really surprised us, but at normal road speeds, the steering feedback isn't very clear. The STO's is. In any case, the Technica proved to be an exciting road racer that still looks great on the track when pushed hard. The inside of the Huracan is very complicated, with many technical parts that are there for more than just looks. You can also choose from a variety of colors and materials for the house to make it your own. A partially floating center panel with cool toggle switches and an interesting push-button shifter cuts the supportive seats in half. But the Huracan doesn't have many storage spaces inside, just a few small pockets on the doors. The front trunk can hold small bags, but only if you don't pack too much. Features for safety and driver assistance. The Huracan doesn't have any of the technological features that help drivers that are popular in more common cars. Instead, this true supercar, 